back with the stars of Merrily We Roll Along at the Hudson Theater here on Broadway. Lindsay Mendez, Daniel Radcliffe, and Jonathan Groff. It, it takes place in reverse chronological order, and you end up in your youngest selves, first coming to New York. Jonathan, do you remember when you first got here? Like, what was your first experience in New I York? I remember it so viscerally. There's, there's a song called Opening Doors uh, that's at the end of the show, but is the beginning of the story when the three characters are just auditioning and trying to make it in the industry. I moved to New York at 19. I feel like you were also 19 when you moved to 18. New York? 18, 18 yeah. yeah. And I remember going to try an audition for Broadway shows, but unless you're in the in the actors union, you have to you can't re really like technically get seen. So showing up at six o'clock in the morning on a cold January day, sitting on the like sidewalk where like it's so cold that I can, I remember feeling like my pants are too thin to sit here. Uh, my, like I'm feeling the cold go into my thighs sure. and I have to get a coat that's longer so I can sit on the coat to sit on the sidewalk to wait to sign up on a list to hopefully be seen to audition for a Broadway show with hundreds of other people. So wow. yeah, that was, that was how we started. Mm -hmm. And now we get to be on Broadway doing this show. It's Do you crazy. remember your early? I mean, it was, it was the same for me, you know, waiting online. I, I, I remember, you know, being told quite a bit, you know, I'm, I'm Mexican and Jewish and people were like, well, we don't know where to put you. Like you can be in West Side Story, but like, that's it. And I, I West felt- West Side fiddling on the roof. Exactly, <laughs> thank you, yes. That was it. Um, but uh, I, just, I just remember like uh, not really feeling like I fit anywhere, but the theater was somewhere that I believed was, you know, I, I could find a place. And um, so I moved here and had big dreams and waited on long lines and a few people took chances on me and I'm still schlepping it out all these years later on the boards. It's, it's awesome. That. Do you have any pre-show rituals, Daniel? I mean, I have um, I have one very like fast patter song in the show, which I am like obsessively running beforehand in a way that I think <laughs> it probably annoys people because it's constant. No. I, I also oh, like no. oh, my sure, God, sure. So cute. So, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you also, saying that Stephen like, Sondheim has a fast patter <laughs> song <laughs> in the Wait. show? Um, and also, just I just get we have like. I get ready ridiculously early, probably unnecessarily early for the show. How I'm early like, are we talking? I mean, like, I'm in my... I'm getting to costume 45 minutes before the show starts, um, which doesn't feel early, but Lindsay gets ready at a normal time. We're, we're giving time. the three bears. Like, yeah. he's ready before half hour. I'm ready, like, right at about, like, five. And Jonathan, Jonathan just, like, is running in from arrive. the street at places with a coffee, wanting to, like, talk about the day. Yeah. <laughs> How do you do that? Wait, how do you do that? How is that? A, how really is the weird. thing you can do? Yeah, I, I like to bring my day to the play. That's not. <laughs> that's not a way of saying that. Just, not, because, that mean just because it rhymes. No, just because it rhymes doesn't mean it's not. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Thank you. My Drag process, him. right? My process, my very intense process, is that I like to arrive at the theater. I like to talk to these. You like to be surprised to find yourself there. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> or I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's do a play. People are yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's truly, it's incredible. <laughs> we need to take another quick break. We'll be right back with Jonathan Groff, Lindsay Mendez, and Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> 